All right, I'm in my, my boat here. The Tiger Shark Slicer, I believe it's called now. It's probably just gonna be, for short, the, the Tiger Shark. Anyway. Hey. Yeah, there's this grinding sound in the motor. It does not sound right. Let me try to hear where it's coming from. Yeah, it sounds like it's coming from up here. I may have a bad bearing in the bottom of the motor here. I don't remember exactly how I put this together. I think to get this apart, I take apart some or take off some screws under here and then I pull the motor up and the entire shaft that goes all the way down to here is attached to it. So I have to take that out with it, unfortunately. I mean, it's not that unfortunate. It's just kind of a pain to get that all the way back down in there and lined up right to get into the, the gears and stuff. But uh, I think I better do it. I can't drive around with this grinding horrible. Okay, I got four bolts out and they're in order where they go. I need to make sure I grease those before I put them back. They're pretty hard to get out. I think this, oh. Oh. Huh. Oh, right. Okay, this just fits right over the thing. Yeah. All right, now let's see, see what this motor sounds like. Not connected to anything else. gunk just shot out of that motor. <laughs> Maybe that's what the problem is. Well, I'm going to take it inside. Oh, wow. Yeah, there's some gunk stuck in there. All right, I'm going to take the whole thing inside, dismantle it, clean the whole thing, check the bearings. Ah, just, just give it an overhaul, a tune-up, whatever you want. Now, I totally don't remember doing this, but the way this connects to the shaft over there is I've got this piece of stuff wrapped around it comes out through this hole so it's like a like a set key and the shaft there just goes right in here and it's got a groove that matches with this here, let's... yeah so that groove right there oh I don't want to move my washers here it's apparently those keep it at the right height so this doesn't yeah, I remember that. Okay, yeah, I have to keep those washers there. All right. Ooh. Those screws may be hard to get out. They look a little rusty. Hopefully I can get them off though. Okay, right. Where am I keeping my hex keys this day, these days? I don't know. And I need to go eat some lunch, but I'm getting too much done. I don't want to stop. There's my hex keys right there. Yeah, very good, very good, sir. Oh, yeah, I need to, I don't know. I'll just eat a huge dinner. You know, I've been eating huge dinners lately and I'm just not keeping up with what I'm, with how much I need to eat, whatever. That's the right one. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, loosen. Oh, jeez, don't strip, don't strip. Oh, wow, those are really stuck. Oh, no. Oh, maybe I can get this end off. Oh, these screws come out at least. I have to get my vacuum cleaner. Give it a nice little suck job.
One nice thing about videoing this stuff is that if I forget <laughs> the order that everything goes back together, it's on camera. Oh, this is pretty self-explanatory. Oh, wow, there's a lot of crap in here, too. There are these mud wasps that make little mud homes. And they get dirt and sand and everything. <laughs> Take off there. Alright, let's get the bearing to come off. Oh, no, 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 comes off. Okay. Now how do I know what orientation this goes? Alright, do I need to know? I better just put a mark on the side somewhere. Alright, let's put a little file scratch right there. That's a double line. Okay, right, two lines there, and two lines. Okay, that lines up with that. Right. You know what? These brushes are should not be that stiff. They're all gunked up too. I'm gonna have to clean those off. And this one's not coming out at all. There we go. Those should move. Freely. There's a spring that pushes them in. They should just come in. So I'll have to wipe all those off. Get to that in a minute though. Well, a few minutes. Okay. If I undo these, these three bolts, this should come off and then I can get the middle out. And then I don't have to take the bolts off from the front. There's a really rusty one. Oh god, these ones are nice and loose. Definitely want to oil them. So. Oh, I'm just gonna have to clean everything. It's a mess. Well, I think what I'll probably do is get a rag. Wipe. Well, first I'm gonna vacuum it all out. Get a rag. Wipe everything down. Get some oil on everything. Wipe it off again. Hopefully it'll be clean enough. Oh, it doesn't look bad in terms of rust. There's not that much rust. A little bit of surface rust, but for how old this motor is, it's in pretty good shape. I'm not gonna oil all these right now. I'll just make sure I oil everything as I put it back together. All right, this has to come off. Right? Does this whole chunk come off, or is it? I think it's this whole piece. Come on, mister. How do you get off there? All right, do I have a tiny pry bar? I think I do.
Well, that's not coming off easy. That bearing is silent. That's what it should sound like. Oh, come on. Let me get it out. Oh, I don't want to put this on my desk until I clean this off a little. A lot. Gunk stuck in this. Oh, wow. Maybe I'll get lucky if I get all this dirt out. The bearing will be silent. It's just a lot of crap in there. I put some oil in here right on the bearing. And I want to see if the oil soaks into the bearing. Because if it doesn't, that means the bearing's probably still sealed and does not need to be replaced. I know there's some gunk stuck in under here that's making that horrible grinding sound. I don't know if any of it is the bearing. The bearing's not seem to be taking any of the oil into it, so it might be sealed still. In which case there should be grease inside and it, the bearing should be fine, theoretically. All right, I wanna see if I can get the rest of whatever gunk is in here out. Oh, there's some more bits. Yeah. What were the screws for this? Was it these things? Yeah, I think so. See if that sounds any better. Ah, there's something like stuck in the side. You know what I think it might be? Little metal bits. So I look in from up here, I can see, I won't be able to see on the camera, but maybe some little bits stuck in there and I couldn't vacuum out. I couldn't vacuum them out because they were stuck. I think they're just little bits of metal. So, if there are any little bits of metal stuck to those magnets, it's just gonna rub against the rotor. Never come out. Unless I can, I don't know, pull it out with a screwdriver. <laughs> Oh, 
problem with magnets is they're real sticky. <laughs> and that's also why they're so useful. This sounding a little better. It's just something caught in there. The good news is I think this bearing is fine. The other good news is I'm probably losing some power because these brushes aren't loose. So if I get them all cleaned up and moving freely, yeah, that should move much more easily, then uh, it should work a little better. Oh, my camera is getting so greasy. How do I clean inside that thing? Hmm. I'm under the impression that all of these parts should be free of any stuff. There should be nothing on them. Well, that's a lot better. All right, next. Oh, sticky. Man, what a huge difference this is going to make. These guys don't even move. You know what I'm thinking before I get the rest of this together? I might give this one more shot. Try to suck stuff out of it. Hopefully if I blocked off all up here, it would have to suck air right up through the bottom. Maybe, well, it does sound a little better actually. There's something in there though. I don't know. Can't forget to put my Springs and the, whatever these are called, the brushes. Take the springs out because it's a lot easier to put together with them out. <laughs> All right, I think that's as good as I'm gonna get this guy. Something stuck in there. A lot less stuff though. And I'm pretty sure the bearings are fine. I don't know, I think the motor's fine actually. Okay. I guess I should plug it in and maybe I still have enough sun to turn it on and give it a quick test. Alright. I should still have enough sun to turn this on a little bit. Definitely sounds better than it did, and uh, yeah, it seems to be running better. Still got some, some. I think it's just bits of metal stuck in the magnets, but uh, that shouldn't cause too much of a problem. Uh, I think I'll put it back on. Oh, my camera died yesterday. 
anyway, it's the next day and I'm back where I was. Okay, let's turn this on. That actually started sounding better after it was running for a few seconds. It's definitely better than it was. Um, still sounds like there's, I, th I think what it is, is just a, a little flake of metal stuck to one of the magnets that's just brushing the, the spinny part, the rotor. Which, uh, I mean, if I could have gotten it out easily, I would, but I don't, I don't think it's that big a problem. Well, that's actually sounding a lot better, so I'm calling it done. Of course, the camera always picks up the motor sound so loud, so it probably sounds like 10 times louder than it is. Uh, but yeah, I think, I think that's it. And that might be everything I can do to this boat before the batteries get here. Yeah, so now I'm just waiting on some batteries and a charge controller. I'm sure there's some other stuff I can do that I'm gonna realize, but that's basically it. Hmm. And that stuff should be here pretty soon. A week or two? I don't know, I don't know. It'll, it'll be here pretty soon though.